Okay guys, how are you guys doing? So as promised, I have here, hold on, let me just switch this around so I can see. Um, how you guys doing? All right, so what I have here is a tutorial on how I um, coffee dye uh, papers using these plastic placemats um, to get this pretty pattern. And I will show you, I am going to leave the link below on Amazon, um, which is where I got these uh, plastic doilies. And it was a set of six. And they weren't really bad, badly priced because they're like durable. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it with coffee because I ran out of my strong instant coffee that I use and it doesn't work with my Keurig coffee that I use to drink. Oh, before that, let me give you a little, another little tip. I use, I buy a lot of white lace. I do buy, you know, color lace too, but I use a lot of white because I like to dye my own. And I use my, you know, my inks and my oxides and stuff, but look at my hands. I should have worn gloves. <laughs> But this is going into a Christmas journal and I needed, I wanted the pom-poms, you know, these little tiny pom-poms, but I wanted them in red and green and I didn't have it. I only had it in white. So I used food coloring and I got a really true red and a really true green. Only thing is I failed to wear gloves. I got glue all over my hands. I've been up since three o'clock working on Christmas journals, so. But anyway, let's get back to this. So I have my first doily on parchment paper, okay? And I have beet juice. Now this is an experiment. I've never tried beet juice before. I added a little bit of silver uh, metallic paint and I'll show you which one I'm using. I'm using this one, I love it. I always like to add a little bit of shimmer to my papers. Either I use the silver or I'll use this one, the gold. It just adds a little bit of shimmer to your coffee dye paper. And in the description box below or in the cards if I figure out how to do it, I'll leave a link on how, um, a video that I have on how I, I do that. Okay, so this is gonna be an experiment because I've never used the beet juice, but I had a can of beets and uh, I saved the juice. So let's, let's try it out. I have my paper here and I'm using 24 pound uh, copy paper. So I'm going to spray it. The only thing is you cannot bake this, of course, you know because you'll melt your doily. Then I'm going to flip it and I'm trying to get that middle pattern right in the center of my page. And I'm going to like press it into the doily. And then I'm gonna soak it again. Now you can dip your paper and do this, but I like doing it this way and you can also wear gloves but since I'm not going anywhere because I am so busy I haven't gone anywhere in the past few days I'm, I'm, I'm in crunch time right now so I really don't care about my hands I really don't care about my nails <laughs> I'm going to press that in to that doily because I want it to be really stuck to that pattern. Get any air pockets out. Okay. Well, that actually is giving a really pretty pink, isn't it? I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna go again, soak it. And I'm going to put my next doily right on top. Okay. 
and because it's wet it's going to make a really nice contact and I want it to really be pressed against that doily, that paper. And you can continue to build, you know, on top. I'm going to give it a good spray. Okay. Here. And I'm going to place my next page on top of that one. I don't put more than two pages because it'll take too long to dry, in my opinion. And this is best if you um, if you leave it overnight and just let it dry overnight because the colors will take really good and the doily will stick to it really good. There. And I'm gonna press that into that one really good. Now you'll always have like one side that takes better than the other, but it'll still be pretty. Get all the air pockets out because you want that paper to really make contact with that doily. Wet it again because now we'll place the other doily right on top and we want it to be nice and wet, right? So it can stick to that paper. I hope I was in frame. Okay. And that's as far as I go. I just put, give it another spritz. And leave it. Leave it overnight. Okay. Uh, and we are going to come back when this is dry. I might, for the sake of the video, hit it with the heat gun. And I will show you what it looks like. But this is basically how you do it. And then you can start another batch because uh, you get six, you get six doilies with um, Amazon. This is what I have. So you'll start another batch. Same thing. Leave it overnight, and then when you peel it off, your doilies will be beautiful. Your paper will be beautiful. But we will come back and I will show you what it looks like when it's dry. All right, guys, I'll come back. Okay, guys, so let's see what this looks like. Um, it's been about, I don't know, a few hours. And I think it's pretty dry. Like I said, you can leave it overnight. The longer you leave it, the better it will be. So this is what we have. I'm, let me see if we can see. And this is the one that I made with the beet juice. Real pretty. You see the pattern? I think it turned out really pretty. It's got a really nice um, color. Uh, it's like a, a mauve kind of color. And you can see like the shimmer with the uh, silver mica. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I love it. Let's see what this bottom one looks like. Let's see. Hmm, the bottom one, this one didn't really take too much, but it still took some. 
but this side took some. You see that? Super pretty. So that is how I do it and you could do it with any anything you like whether it's coffee um, whatever you want to you normally dye your papers with tea coffee um, anything really I think I should have soaked this one more because if you see this one is darker this one is darker than this one that's probably why uh, this one is not so like in your face kind of but you can still see it there I still love it it's paler but you can still see the imprint you can see the silver I love it so if you spray more you soak your pages more then your imprint will be darker and more pronounced so I hope you guys like that uh, if you have any questions let me know and yeah uh, you can do this with coffee with tea with um, you know uh, avocado dyed paper with anything that you guys want uh, the more time you leave it sit uh, under your doilies the better it is I like to stack it in threes. I think the imprint is better. Threes, no more than four. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you like it and uh, have a great uh, rest of the weekend. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.